Welcome back to Good Morning Vale and the Beaver Creek Arts Festival. I'm talking with Kevin Miles, half yes. of the team of Schaefer Miles. Absolutely, yes. Sorry my wife couldn't be here. We had a couple of emergencies back home in Wisconsin last minute, but I'm here and we've got all our great artwork here, so we're excited. So your artwork really is there's a diversity here. There's not just landscapes, but also paintings and then some things that really focus in on nature. Well, yeah, I mean, we do the shows out here. I think we've done them 20 years and we love coming to Colorado and hanging out, you know, in between the shows, we go out the high country where there's no people, just some animals and trees and, and we just glory in that. It's so wonderful, you know, get away from society and just go hide in the woods for a while. But then we come back to make a living and it's all good, you know. Kevin, how did you, what is your journey to art? How did you decide, I'm an artist? Well, that's interesting because my dad was a career military guy and all my friends went into the military academies, Naval, Air Force, West Point. And my dad actually was very supportive of, of the art thing because he knew it was unique and, and a talent that I had to pursue. Out of all my friends, I was the only one that was allowed to follow my real passion, you know. So that, that was pretty unique that my dad supported that, you know. But I, I, as a kid, I drew charcoal drawings. They were in my grandma's house when uh, they sold it. They found like 3,000 charcoal drawings from when I was a kid because I'd send them to her from Turkey. I lived in Iran and, and um, Turkey and Germany because my dad was traveling all the time. And um, I just roll them up, put them in a tube, send them out to grandma's house, you know. So I, I started doing that when I was just a child. But my, my wife started when she was nine years old doing oil paintings. Her mom stuck her in the laundry room with an oil paint set and let her go at it. So she's been a natural born painter. By 12, she was selling art to designers in Milwaukee. And now we're all over the world in 40 countries. We're on 100 cruise ships and we get to come up here all summer. So life's not too bad. And so this method that I'm looking at here on most of your paintings, these are oil paintings. Yeah, actually my wife starts with a, a, a transparent glaze, kind of like the old masters, so the shadows have luminosity and depth to them. And then I kind of build up texture at the end. That's our collaborative uh, working method. My wife covers a canvas. She'll cover a big canvas like that outdoors before noon. And uh, all the plain air painters that we go out with they, that are doing little studies are all like, you got to slow down. You're making us look bad. <laughs> but she just, she paints the way she's always painted. And she just was born with a paintbrush in her hand. So, but I like to take what she's done and add to it by creating depth and light and dimension. You know, those are things that don't really concern her as much, but for me, I almost like to sculpt the painting. And, and it works. We've sold 4,000 paintings so far, and we've got a few wonderful ones left here, so. Well, absolutely. I mean, as I look at them, I can actually see the paint on there. Yeah, literally from an angle, if you light one of our paintings right in your home, you can walk into the room and feel like you can go into the scene and come back out. And that's sort of a combination of old masters technique from 400 years ago and more of a modern impressionism. And then we mix a little pop in there with the color and the vibrancy. So it's it's a combination, a hybrid of a lot of different styles, but it's uniquely our own. And, and for us, it just is very gratifying that we get to do this, you know. And I love looking at our paintings when they're done. They just, after doing all that work for 30 years, I still am excited about it every day, so. Kevin, thank you so much. And I understand you've really been coming to this, this festival for a very long time, so we appreciate you coming out to Beaver oh, yeah. Creek and Where sharing. Where going to be this time of year? This is fabulous. Got the waterfall running here and, and the mountains right behind us. I woke up in a campground. It was 36 degrees. And I live in the Midwest where it's hot and humid most of the time this time of year. So if you're from Houston or Florida, don't complain about the temperatures over here because this is paradise. It's awesome. Thank you so much, Kevin. Coming up next, we've got more epic morning, but first, Mark has your weather.